So I heard you talk about She-Ra at Comic-Con. I didn't get to see that trailer. I gotta look it up. It looks great. You were busy, though. Yeah, we... People know by now, we work New York Comic-Con every year, which is a lot of fun. There's a lot of advantages, like you never wait in line for a bathroom. Because we get to use the back of house bathrooms, and you meet famous people. Um... (laughs) Some of the disadvantages you don't always get to see the things you want you know the good omens and american gods panels were both over at madison square god garden and i was working so i didn't get to see those Aww. um but i did get to talk to ricky whittle for a couple minutes and he's lovely i would expect he is yes so fair trade mm. um but yeah we had a lot of fun we walked according to his fitbit the equivalent of 60 miles over the course of four days and I think it said we walked like 14 flights of stairs or something. Maybe more than that. I don't remember. So our legs are sore. <laughs> You're just running laps up and down the Javits Center. I... with famous And the thing you learn really quickly about famous people is at a con, at least, they have no idea what's happening. Like, they literally, they don't know where they're going next. They don't know where they are now. Their managers don't tell them anything. They just literally need you to tell them what to do and when. Except for some of them. We had one gentleman this weekend. I don't name names. But we had one gentleman this weekend. Really nice guy. Was not so much about being babysat by an entourage of handlers. Like, and I get it. He's a grown adult. He wants to be able to just walk around like a grown adult and go to the bathroom when he wants. We're not allowed to let him do that, though. Like, it's literally our job to not allow you to just be an independent adult. So, uh, he kept just running off. (laughs) And that group had this, like, six foot five brick shithouse of a security guy who was like, where is he? Go get him. And we're like, isn't that your job? (laughs) Like, we're not security. That's you. But so, yeah, we'd have to go and get him. That du- the security dude would be like, hey, make him slow down. And he'd be like, no. So, but I was like, I get it. Like, you don't want 47 babysitters. That must suck. But you're a famous person, and this is Comic Con. Like, I almost had to body, body check a couple of 12 year old girls because they just would not get out of my ass while I was trying to block them from the famous person that they were trying to stalk. So. But we had a good time. Um, we, had, we had some misadventures with New Jersey Transit, which is a dumpster fire of a public... Yeah, New apparently, and also, wouldn't it New York shut down one of the lines, or... New York shut down the Seven Line, which is the main subway line in and out of queens they shut down the seven line stop around the javits center for repairs which means if you live in queens and you wanted to go to comic-con you were gonna have to like change trains and take a really stupid long roundabout way there which was awesome uh we we took the train up from jersey and that was a whole other set of misadventures but you know Oh. It was a good time. Um, good Omens looks like it's going to be amazing. It looks fun, yes. I mean, it It looks so good. I mean, when you put Neil Gaiman in charge of his own book, it's going to be good. But it looks really good. Oh, well, we got David Tennant. Yeah. Dave, you put David Tennant in something, he doesn't care what he's playing. He'll he, play it to the nines. He's going to be an amazing... They're, they're pronouncing it Crowley, not Crowley. Mm. Um... And then we had Supernatural Crowley in the building. <laughs> they sent one guy from Supernatural, and it's the guy that quit the show last season. I didn't really understand that. Man. But uh, Jason Momoa, by the way, is about 12 feet tall. Oh, but he's the nicest dude. He seems very, very nice. I didn't get to talk to him very much. Um, but he was super psyched to be there. He is an enormous human. Like, an enormous human. Like, you, pictures don't really do justice. I realized he was big. I didn't realize he was big. Like, he's fucking tall. He's a big man. Yes, he is. 
And there was at one point where I, yesterday, I was within a foot of David Tennant, Matt Smith, Jodie Whittaker, Alex Kingston, Sean Pertwee, like all within an hour. And I'm like, man, if I actually had ever watched Doctor Who, this would probably be really exciting. There are people right now who want to murder you. I know. I know. I know. They, they, like, they sent the wrong person. Uh, well, a friend of ours, Danny, did the sci-fi panel yep, live yep, stage with wrong. the Doctor Who cast, and I believe it's up on sci-fi.com, so you should definitely check that out. Yeah. Danny is a huge Doctor Who fan and was very excited to get the opportunity. Yeah. So, little plug for Danny, because Danny works hard. Well, it's back to the horrible stuff now. Oh, God. There's one this week. You're, I think you're going to just explode with rage. Oh, good. <laughs> I think what I like to do. I think you're just going to fly into just pieces of anger. When you, this, but let it's not this one. This one's let, let's let's ease into it. Let's take it slow. Each week, Catherine. Yeah. Radio Dead Air audience. Why are you mad at me? The worldwide interweb, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Crazy. And, um. That wants to love you. Crazy yeah, he doesn't want to love the internet. So oh, yeah. No, don't you snap at me. Oh, boy. All right. Be down there and be grumpy then. So, our first story comes from India and. I'm I'm just gonna let the vi- <laughs> I know it's bad when you just sit there making sounds. I'm gonna let the, the video speak for itself, everyone. This happened in India this week. <gasps> I'm reading the headline and that's not good. <laughs> Who is driving? Monkey is driving! That's not safe. They, they, they don't take driver's ed. <laughs> I, this is not good. You probably can't even reach the turn signal. That's not safe. <laughs> no, it's okay. The dude's working the gear shift for him. It's fine. It's not it's fine. It's not fine. It's not <laughs> fine. Like, you really like monkeys. Would you want to be on a bus being driven by a monkey? Fuck no! <laughs> no! I really like hippos. Doesn't mean I want to go swimming with them. Because they'll kill me. Come on, resize. There we go. Bus driver put on leave after letting monkey take the wheel. I wonder why. An animal-loving bus driver in India has been put on leave after he was caught red-handed in caging in monkey business. Video showed a simian sitting atop the steering wheel for a few minutes, appearing to take control as driver Prakash changed gears. Times of India reported Saturday that Indian transportation officials have removed Prakash from duty, asked for an inquiry into his conduct. He is an animal lover, but he should not have allowed this while driving a bus. Look, I'm an animal lover. I love this grumpy asshole at my feet right now. You know, I love him. To pieces. He's never driving my car. No, I'm not going to let Grady drive the car. Loki tries to... When we take Loki to the vet, he tries to drive the car. <laughs> we don't let him. Simba just sings me very sad ballads from his carrier. Meow. <laughs> Meow. I just... I... Meow. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. No. Arkle said the, the driver misunderstood the phrase, thought it was Reese's take the wheel. <laughs> Well done. Well done. He's looking at me now because I'm meowing and he's like, don't you mock me. Meow. Uh, Meow. You, no. You don't. Okay. You don't do this. You, no, it's, no. I mean, it's bad enough if it's your own private vehicle, but a bus. That's it's not like even his own private monkey. No, it's it. This was a random monkey that just got on the bus. 
This was a borrowed monkey on a public bus. It wasn't even borrowed. Nobody owned this monkey. This is a free monkey. Oh, I thought it said it came on with a passenger. I assume that meant it was a pet. Well, you know, you can't really tell because there are parts of India where the yeah, monkeys just... Yeah, they do have feral monkeys. They do whatever the fuck they want. Okay, apparently including driving buses. I mean, well, I mean, th this is one of those things. There are an entire busload of people who did not vote, get a say in the monkey no. driving the bus. They did not sign on to have a fucking monkey at the wheel that day. And the dude's like, it's great. The monkey's driving. They're like, no, this isn't great. No. I object. That's that's not cute because we're all going to die. I, I have I have strenuous reservations about you I letting have, them. I have feelings about that. I just, I, the thing was, he took the video of himself like this. Everyone's going to love this. Yeah. Like, no one was going to fucking freak the... F oh, it's okay. I had the... It's going to be awesome. No. Mm. That's not how this shit works. And would you do that? All right. Okay. Oh, and here's more. Here, we're another... You should not put this on video, you idiot. Come on up here. It really gets to me how dumb some people are with, with the, the presence of mind of like, I'm going to do something really bad and I'm going to put it online and everyone's going to love it and there will be You know no what it is? Like, we've become a culture that if you didn't put it on social media, it didn't happen. You know what? This is like part of working the Comic Con thing. We're not allowed to hit up any of the famous people for pictures for obvious reasons. Like, yeah. we're there to help them. We're not there to be fans glomming on them you know so like yeah. there's a million people i would have loved to get a picture with this weekend that your instinct is put this on instagram and you feel like it didn't really happen now if you didn't put it on social media even if it's monumentally stupid well in this case he probably did not want anyone to know this happened because springfield man arrested after posting facebook video about how to remove an ankle monitor Oh, oh, honey. A Springfield man is in jail after authorities say he filmed himself using a butter knife and screwdriver to remove an ankle monitor, then posted the video to Facebook. July video referenced by investigators still posted what appears to be the Facebook page of Dustin W. Burns, 33. Court records so Burns plead guilty to violating a restraining order earlier this year and was placed on probation. Quote, this is how you take an ankle bracelet off, says a voice in the video, without breaking the circuit. The man in the video can be seen with his pant legs rolled up. He sticks the butter knife in and out of the device before grabbing a utility tool to unscrew part of it. The man advises viewers to remove the ankle monitor without damaging it, thus avoiding thousands of dollars in fines. The video ends with the man fully removing the bracelet and holding it up to the camera. I mean, good on you for avoiding those fines for damaging it, but now you're going to jail. You're going. To, you you don't you, you don't. Oh, it's not house arrest is not optional. On your Facebook, and not even covering his face. Yeah, if you wanted to show off, if you wanted to show off and get a how-to thing, and maybe you know you could get a following. Not a great one, but you get a following. Put on a luchador mask. Right. Make a burner account. Go crazy. And don't put it they're on. Still gonna, they're still going to track your IP and you're still going to go to jail. But this made it, it so easy. Make them work for it. Damn it. Exactly. They're getting paid by our tax dollars. If they're going to catch you, they should earn their fucking money. You're just handing it to them. That's yeah. charity, sir. That is yeah. charity. Yeah. It's just on his you better believe people were on his own friends list were calling the cops on his like, dumb butt. Dude, dude, is this a good idea? I wouldn't do that. Timba. Hi, come here. I just Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cooperate a little. A little? <laughs> this does not look like cooperation. That is not the face of cooperation. 
That is the face of put me the fuck down. I'm barely holding you. Okay. See you later. That is that is a grumpy kitty. He he's 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 my grumpy boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. Oh I wasn't holding his head. It looks like I was. I just had my hand on his head. So he wouldn't turn around to take a bite out of you. It's kind of like handling a snake. Like you gotta control his neck. And I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> you gotta be in control of his neck so you know he can't get you. So I always have if I pick him up, I have a hand on the back of his head so I can scruff him if need be. Mm -hmm. But he's a good boy, and I love him. And I'm his therapy human. This is just a quick way to go to... Oh, uh, okay. All right, Tara. Speaking of quick ways to go to... You're going to... This is awful. I had to check this because it just looks... Okay. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to let you read the headline, and I'm just going to back off a second and... There you go. <gasps> there we go. Who are we selling him to? Police say an 81-year-old man attempted to buy an 8-year-old girl from her mother for $200,000 at a Florida Walmart. WKMG-TV reports, Post or, uh, Port Orange Police say, Helmuth Kolb, that is a fucking... What, what the fuck kind of name is that? That's, is that German? Helmuth? Sounds Latverian to me. Was arrested Saturday and charged with simple battery and false imprisonment. Police say Tracy Nye was sitting with her daughter on a bench inside the Walmart when Kolb approached, asked if she was married, and started bidding on her daughter. Nye said she got up to leave, but Kolb grabbed her daughter and kissed her wrists. An arrest report says Nye left with her daughter and alerted store security. Authorities say the exchange was caught on camera and Kolb was identified through his credit card transaction and social media, where another woman described a similar experience. It's unclear if Kolb has a lawyer. Well, if the past few weeks in America have taught me anything, he's going to be a Walmart manager by next week. Yeah. Yeah. I, I seem to remember we, we kind of had a law that says you can't buy people anymore. Maybe I'm mistaken on that, but kind of, I'm kind of thinking back that we, we sort of had a rule that says you, you can't buy people. A child. I know. What the? F then this wasn't the first time he did it. Was he just a going? A waitress in a diner tried to steal one of my sisters when she was a baby before I was born. They. She asked my mom, like, oh, what a cute baby. Can I hold her? And my mom was young and naive, and it was 1970. So she said, okay. And the next thing she knew, the waitress was running out of the front of the diner trying to get in a car with my sister. And my mom went tearing ass after her. Okay. She, and but people it, are crazy, is it, my point. It, see, at least she understood what she was doing was inherently wrong. This dude's yeah. just bold as you please, like... Walking up in public, like, how much for the kid? How much for the little girl? How much for the women? I, Jesus Christ. A fucking villain from a grim fairy tale. I know, right? Seriously. He's got the name of one. Yeah, he does. With some Rumpelstiltskin shit. You name your kid this. You name your kid Helmuth. He's going to try to buy a little girl. <laughs> That's what that name says to me. Yeah. I think it's probably a common name in Eastern Europe, though. So. Well, maybe they buy a lot of children in Eastern Europe. I don't know. That's just a horrible name. I mean, if the Taken movies are to be, to be believed. I, uh... Although I don't know that Alba Albania can't 
counts as Eastern Europe, now that I've said that. This guy, jeez, just the, the fucking, the, 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 God, the stones on this jackass. I, <sighs> if asked if you're married, like, okay, well, you don't need it. You're not married. What do you want this I for? Don't, I don't even really have jokes. This is just straight up horrifying. I know. And I would like him to do all the prison time. All of it. And you know, it's good that we have uh, law enforcement that we can rely on to do good things. And you know where I'm going with this one. DEA official tasked with stopping DEA sex parties is under <laughs> investigation for procuring prostitutes for sex parties. How hard is it to not have sex parties at your job? Because this seems to come up a lot. And I've had a lot of jobs, and none of them have ever involved sex parties. <laughs> not a one. Not one. I worked in a Sephora with 30 other women, and not once did a pillow fight or an orgy break out. Not one time. Three years ago, the DEA sent one of their top-ranking officials, Richard Dobrich, to South America to put an end to agents having sex parties with prostitutes hired by Colombian drug cartels. Unsurprisingly, Dobrich is now under investigation for directing Colombian drivers working for the U.S. Embassy in Bogota to, quote, procure sex workers. Your entire job was, Richard... Richard, can I call you Dick? Dick, listen. We've got a problem in South America. They're having sex parties. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, interesting. No, it's bad. Oh, that's bad? Dick, here's what we need you to do. We need you to go down there and stop the sex parties. So what you're saying is we need bigger sex parties. No, Dick. Dick. No. Stop them from going on too long because that can run up the meter. No, dick, 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 dick. You had one job, dick. Which literally had one job. Literally. And it did the complete opposite of that job. I can only imagine there's another DEA dude going, you know what? I can stop those sex parties if you want me to. I'll, I'll take care of it right now. Sure. No problem. I just don't understand why it's. Why sex parties in a work environment happen to begin with. Just, Unless you work at kink.com and that is literally your job. That's yeah, your job. Sex parties, your job. Go to work and be in an orgy. Then cool. And you know, I work to be in an orgy if that is literally your job. I would, if you work for the DEA, your job is probably not to be in an orgy. <laughs> That's a low ass probability. I would probably think if it was your job to have an orgy, it would get kind of old real fast. Well, they say do what you love. You never work a day in your life, right? That's not true. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a, that's a that's an utter goddamn lie. But I say, are you hiding now he's been rubbing on my legs now like hi i love you I, I you would think the the very guy they picked to stop the thing they're paying attention dick they want that yeah. they, they it's not like they're just gonna be like okay just go take care of it we won't no they're watching because yeah. they you idiot I mean, in his defense, he's a white dude in, in a power in a position of power. Oh, how could it be helped? Uh, I look forward to the angry political comments. I don't care. Nope. So we have th this is an oh, this guy. I, I can respect an intelligent criminal. Might not like them, but I can respect them. What about a smooth criminal? However, 
just the ones who think you're who who rely whose entire criminal motif is relying on the idea that you're too stupid to stop them when they're not that smart to begin with. Those just irritate me. And this guy, this guy irritated me. Irishman held in Turkish hospital after he gobbled down a swanky diamond ring worth almost 35,000 euros. Oh. Ian Campbell, 45, believed to be from uh, Newry. Where's that? County Down. County Down. Which is uh, North Ireland, technically. He is not the pride of the County Down right now. Um... It's the maid of the county down. Is alleged to have swallowed the solitaire ring in a jeweler's shop in the Medita Mediterranean resort city of uh, Mameris. Uh, Turkish police are holding an Irishman in hospital after he allegedly gobbled down the ring. Ian Campbell, 45, uh, 54, believed to be from County Down, is alleged to have swallowed the ring in a jeweler's shop. Uh, police are waiting to see if the man passes the gem naturally. Otherwise, he will undergo surgery to retrieve it. So they got to do the thing like when your dog eats something and like, <laughs> collect his poop. <laughs> Star of the county down. I knew it was something else. Thank you. I knew Maid wasn't quite right. That's a, that word's in the song. But Local media reported Campbell walked into the store on the city seafront at uh, around midday on Tuesday and asked the only member of the staff he could see the ring. He then allegedly ended up swallowing the 2.5 carat sparkler. When police came, Campbell uh, denied having swallowed the ring and denied any wrongdoing, but was detained, taken to the hospital after officers took a look at the security camera footage. Can we stop for a minute and talk about his haircut? Yeah, that is kind of... Diff what is what is going on there? Is that not the exact haircut Christopher Lloyd had and who framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> is that a look anybody actually wants? <laughs> like, what happened there? And when I swallowed the ring, I talked just like this! Oh, God. Um, Turkish authorities have directed that if the ring is in the Irishman's abdomen, he will undergo surgery if it cannot be retrieved by natural means. And yeah, we've got the x-ray down there. There it is. There it is. Um, I just, god damn. Sir, you need you to come with me. No, I don't. You swallowed a ring, sir. No, I didn't. We've got you on video camera. No, you don't. It's right there. No, it isn't. How, how are you going to fence this? I th I think the plan was he was just going to swallow it, fly home, poop a ring, make money. I mean, that was going to need some serious cleaning, first of all. But that's what I'm saying. Like, how a 2.5 carat diamond is going to have some tracking. Like, they laser. Yeah. They do. Serial numbers into those things. How were you going to get rid of it? Have you not seen Snatch? No, he apparently has not. <laughs> That's not easy to move. I, it just, I don't think this exactly entailed a lot of brain. No. I, I, I'm not sure he, he just thought this is the perfect plan. I mean, clearly he's not bright. He got that haircut. We're never really going to shit on someone the way someone looks in this show because you can't help the way you look, but you can but damn sh is. you can damn sure help what you do with your hair. And come on, man, I'm not going to shit on things about someone's appearance that they can't help. The choices they make that was a decision you made. You that chose that haircut. You chose that for yourself. And even if it was a fuck up at the barber, <clears throat> you could have picked it. What you could have just started from scratch. You didn't. What is it Grady's complaining over here? He hates his haircut, too. Oh. Hello. Can I help you? 
We're all seeking cats right now. That's the show. Yeah, I don't know where Simba went. He might have Winnie the Pooh into his tower. Come here. Come here. You want to come here? Come on. Meow. He Meow. Can't, he can't hear you. I just want you to look at me. Brady. 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 Well, screw it then. We got shit to do, dude. We got shit to do. We can't wait all day for you, Grady. So our last story this week. Um, there's having too much time on your hands. Yeah, all right. To give you an example, when I get bored, I get buildy. I make stuff. I I've modded out my computer case. I've done some shit with my guitars. I I I make things. It's it's relaxing. If I ever get this board, um, you, uh, I'm I'm done. I, I I deserve whatever I get. FBI agent shot by booby trapped booby trapped wheelchair <gasps> inside Southern Oregon home. He's okay. He's okay. However, I want you to look at this picture on the screen here, everybody. Booby trapped hot tub. That's what that is. That is a hot tub that has been upended on its side, attached to a gate, and rigged up so that when they open the gate, this would do some fucking Indiana Jones rolling fucking boulder shit. Yes. This is some crazy shit. Minivan outfitted with spring-loaded jaws of animal snares. And avoided a circular hot tub triggered on its side and designed to roll over trespassers. But FBI special agent and three state police bomb technicians never made it past the empty wheelchair inside the manufactured home they entered in the Southern Oregon property. With the slightest push, the wheelchair opened fire. Um, law enforcement officers have responded to the home in Williams, a town of 2,200 people, at the request of a real estate lawyer tasked with selling the property. They soon discovered elaborate booby traps sprinkled throughout the 15-acre spread, hmm. spike strips at the bottom of the driveway, a rat trap rigged to fire a shotgun round when someone tried to open the door to a detached garage. It's like home alone, but in hell. <laughs> Authorities say the makeshift weapons were the handiwork of former owner Gregory Lee Rodvelt, 67, who was forced to forfeit his property as part of an elder abuse case brought against him. In 2016, Rodvelt's then 90-year-old mother and her guardian filed a civil lawsuit, which resulted in a $2.1 million judgment. Though an armed standoff outside Phoenix landed him in jail, this is the part that blows my fucking mind. Though an armed standoff landed him in jail, Arizona officials released him from custody for two weeks so he could tie up loose ends and prepare to turn over his property. So what happened was he was ordered to give up this home as part of a settlement of an elder abuse lawsuit. And he was already in jail for an armed standoff, so they thought, well, okay... We'll give you two weeks to go settle it. You come back to jail. And during that time, he rigged up this booby trap hellscape for the revenuer. I can see... Dan doing this post zombie apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if we're holed up somewhere and it's a zombie apocalypse, I can see him doing this shit. But unless it's the zombie apocalypse, this really isn't acceptable. No. <sighs> yeah, oh, guess what? He uh let's see. He now faces one felony count of assault on a federal officer. Uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, resisting arrest, and failure to mark explosives in connection to his arrest. No attempted murder? Because that's a lot. 
of a yeah. Kid. He tried real hard to kill a lot of people. And in the crazy, goddamn crazy ass ways. What was this funhouse bizarre nonsense? You don't. I didn't know you actually could rig guns like that. Yeah, you can. Like that shit from the end of Breaking Bad. I thought that was just some yeah. Looney Tunes bullshit. Actually, Mythbusters did that one. It worked. Oh. Wow. Yeah. They 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 actually they made they they did built the whole rig the same way Walter White did. That worked. But rigging up rigging up a shotgun's not hard. You just bolt the shotgun in place, uh, tie a fishing line around the trigger, pull it taut, and if just physics does the rest. They push the line, the line pulls the trigger, kaboom. It's the hot tub that has me concerned, honestly. I don't know. The van covered in animal traps sounds terrible. That's pretty bad, too. Yeah. You know, you don't get less. Now, it, it, but now I know what we're doing to the house for Halloween. You don't get a reduced sentence for how wacky your crime is. No, you don't get points for creativity. <laughs> What do you mean I shouldn't explain in detail? It's not like this is a secret. It's not like you can't figure it out. You can rig up guns to shoot on drip wires very easily. Guns are awful devices. I just, this. What? The, the, the hot. And I cannot believe. He did. He did this by himself. Yeah, like he. I was just thinking that. Did he move that hot tub all by himself? He's sixty-seven years old, and he's rigging. He's doing this A-team crazy shit all over the house. Man, I'd hate to be his celly in prison. Oh yeah, you never. You never want to sit down on the toilet ever. You don't touch anything. anything. Hot tub death. There it is. Hot tub death machine. That's that's this week's title. <laughs> Because he's going to have nothing but time. Oh, God. Jeez. Yeah, th th that's one they they really, really get cranky about is the assault on a federal officer. Mm -hmm. They get really they 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 don't they don't let you out. They don't like that. They don't like they're it. Not, they're not big fans of that. No. Well, what did he think was fucking going to happen? They were like, OK, you win this round. I guess we'll go away and don't come back. No, they're taking the house and you're going to more jail. You were already yeah. in jail. There's more jail. Yeah. They can keep you there longer. They can. And you're already 67. So what the fuck are you doing? You're. I mean, his mom apparently lived to 90. You are a series of poor choices, sir. Yeah. This simply... You are... Uh... This is why, like... Dan's from, like, Banjos, Missouri. And we go there. And this is why those places freak me the fuck out. Because people that live in the middle of nowhere, there's a reason they like living in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and it's not because they're okay. <laughs> this is why I'm a motherfucking city mouse. Well, suburbs, suburb. I'll, I, I'm not big. Well, on... yeah, I'm a suburb. I'm a suburb mouse. I've never lived in an actual city. But... Yeah. Cities kind of suck. Suburbs are good. Suburbs are fine. That's about as far as I'm willing to go. Well, like this is why when we drive through Missouri, through those places where there's like one house for miles, I get real fucking nervous. Because the kind of people that like that lifestyle make me fucking nervous. Yeah. And this is comments about that too. We don't fucking yeah. care. We don't care. I'm a liberal Yankee elitist piece of shit. I'm aware. It's fine. So I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is they can give you more jail. Yeah. There is always more jail. There's not a finite amount. No, no. There is all like they have an unlimited supply. And we really, really motherfucking love incarcerating people in this country. 
There is always it's a growth industry. Yeah. There is always more jail. We've learned that just because you, if your defense is nuh-uh, the security camera wins. Yeah. And also, you're going to be forced to sit until you poop. And then you're going to jail. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be that cop, though. No, no one. No one wants to, because... Uh, Can I seriously grow the fuck up? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the nurse that has to go through that dude's poop every day. No. We've learned that uh, when your job is to stop the sex parties, don't continue the sex parties. Try not to do the exact thing you were sent in to stop other people from doing. That's not going to go over well. Yeah. We've learned it is still illegal to buy other human beings in America. Yep, yep, yeah, that's not that's not okay. If you noticed, they don't sell eight-year-olds at the Walmart. If it was legal, you bet their ass they would. They goddamn would. If it was legal for Walmart to sell you a small child, they fucking would. They would have like they they would have like in volume. You could go yeah. to Sam Club and buy like a pallet of yeah. of of you know elementary school kids. But being as you just left the Walmart, I assume you noticed there they, were no adorable little moppets for sale. Right? They don't cause it's not. They don't do that. We've learned that if you're going to do something very illegal, don't put it on your Facebook page. We haven't learned that, though, because we've been telling them that for literally years. Since we started doing this. And they just keep doing it. They just keep doing it. They just, they just keep it's doing it. Like, it's like criminal natural selection. <laughs> I We need to make our law enforcement work harder than this. They've got it too easy. Yeah, got to keep them off the streets, you know? Yeah. And finally, we've learned, I don't know why we had to learn this. Don't let the monkey drive the bus. No. Monkey doesn't want to drive the bus. Monkey doesn't know what the fuck a bus is. I mean, he appeared to be having a great time. Yes, but he was not linking that great time to the consequences of his actions. No, monkeys don't really understand things like that. Don't let the monkey drive. Why do I have to actually say out loud, don't let the monkey drive the bus? Even the most intelligent monkey hasn't learned street signs. <clears throat> Not safe. It's a monkey! <laughs> Just god damn it. And what if the person in front of you makes a hard stop? Don't you know you're going to shock the monkey? (laughs) 